Good morning, happy travelers. So we're here at the Oparara Arches. I think that's how you say it. Never know how to say these names. <laughs> but uh, we're just currently walking towards the arches right now. It was just a hour or so drive from Westport and then you have to go down this gravel road for like 14 kilometers. So that takes a little bit more time. But now we're just going to see these arches and the biggest limestone arches in New Zealand. So. I'm excited to see them. It's walking through a little bit of rainforest right now and then we'll be hitting the Oparara arches. And let's see how beautiful they're gonna be. arches I'm standing in them right now they are huge and beautiful and definitely well worth the drive to get here there's two different walks you can do the Moria walkway or the Opara arches walkway and we took the Opara arches walkway now we're gonna go see there's some caves apparently you can check out here too these arches are awesome I'm standing in the middle of limestone arches how cool is that the biggest ones in New Zealand as well <laughs> we're just heading down the gravel road a little bit more to take us to the Oparara caves, the limestone caves. Uh, you can only walk like a kilometer into them, but you do need a light if you want to go because it gets pretty dark in there, but it is pretty warm here right now. I thought it wasn't going to be as warm on the South Island as it was on the North Island. I'll see you guys when we get to the caves. So just like a quick five minute drive, not even down the gravel road till we come to the park to go to the caves, but sorry, I thought they were called the Oporara caves, but they're the box playing caves and the card something caves. Forget what it's on the sign, but uh, I sh shot a view of the sign for you guys. Uh, just a nice little rainforest again, and then we'll see some interesting caves at the end. So it's the crazy paving caves, that's what it's called. And this cave is called that because of the floor and like the rock sediments, it makes it like a crazy floor on the path for the cave so it's right behind me here kurt just ran back to the van to go get our light because we forgot our flashlight it's pretty dark in there and uh yeah there's supposed to be spiders everywhere here so that should be fun i hate spiders and they say you can't touch them or remove their little egg sacs or something because apparently they lay here and hatch their little spider babies so we'll see how this cave goes a little bit chilly i should have <laughs> brought a jacket for the cave actually all right, let's go into this game. This is a little part of the cave. You can't walk too far. You do go to a part where you duck down and crawl for a little bit and then there's just a dead end, but it's kind of cool to see the floor and everything in there. It's really crazy, like the rock formations that they have, but I didn't see any spiders, so that's good. <laughs> Uh, the second cave, the Box Canyon cave. It's another dry cave and you get to travel through it. There's like beetles, spiders, and other insects in this one. So let's hope we don't run into any of them. But we're actually in the Karurangai National Park. If you guys are looking to find it here, if you're not in Westport or anywhere and you want to find it, it's in Karurangai National Park and the Opara Valley and the Arches. So let's check out this cave. bit dark for me to film for you guys um but yeah you definitely need a light if you're coming here and I really think it's something you should check out because you can enjoy some caves for free you don't even have to pay to go in them and take your time and walk around a little bit even though they don't go too far uh, it's still really something cool to see we're starving I think we're gonna take a little break and uh, make some food and then we're gonna go check out the other archway walk the Moria archway that I said to you guys. I thought it was the same walkway to take you to Oparara arches, but turns out there's more arches than here than just that one, but the Oparara ones are the largest ones. So 
We'll see what the other ones look like, but first, gonna fill our tummies with some food. friend while cooking. Oh, I can't even point to it properly. You can see him though in the screen. He's so cute. driving towards the Punai Kai, I think that's how you say it, the Punai Kai pancakes and the blue holes and we just stopped along the road because Kurt's blocking the view but there's a beautiful view behind me of like the rocks and the ocean. We're just driving along this road that goes straight along the coast. It's like the Great Coast Road and yeah we're just like 15 minutes away from Punai Kai right now and we're gonna go see the pancake rocks and stuff. But yeah, we had a good little lunch at the campsite and met like a little kiwi bird friend and then yeah we just cleaned up and started driving so I didn't think there was much to show you guys until we came to this because that is beautiful. Now we'll continue along driving on this beautiful road and then see what the pancake rocks and blowers look like and then we'll be heading on to a campsite later today which is about another hour drive from the Punakai rocks and the blowholes. for them in the Pukakai area. Pukake, Pukake, I don't know how you say it. You just go up to the eyesight and then there'll be the little path walking you guys towards the pancake rocks and blowholes. There isn't too much to do around here. There is some walks and stuff, but nothing else really. Pancake rocks and blowholes are the biggest tourist attraction here. So let's go check them out. Pancake rocks. I thought because they were gonna be like really flat all over each other, but it's because they're stacked up like little pancakes. If you come see these ones over here, you see? They're all stacked like little pancakes. The end of the walk, but we never saw any blowholes at all. But it was really beautiful scenery and the pancake rocks were really cool to see but maybe there's only like a certain time that you can see the blowholes actually go off and maybe we're not at the correct time to see them but still it's really cool to come see all the rocks. Um, now I think we're just gonna slowly try to drive towards a campground or the next city. Not too sure yet, but it's probably gonna be dark. I'm gonna leave this video here for you. I have no idea what we're doing tomorrow yet. I'll let you guys know tomorrow when I know too. All our plans are just up in the air right now. If you guys like my video, make sure you hit subscribe, comment, like, and share my video. Till the next vlog, guys. I'll see you then. Have a good night.